contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is your BWA Requiem main event of the evening. Introducing first, weighing in at over 10,000 moon rocks, this is Mark Quinn. Quite not used to this uh, particular aesthetic. The independent sensation. Mark Quinn. And his opponent. Now residing in victory. New Jersey he is the human highlight reel. Havoc. And Havoc kicking it old school here on 9-11. The main event of Requiem is nothing short of a dream match. We talked about it in 2011. We talked about it in 2012. It was a dream in 2013. It was almost never going to happen in 2014. It is Mark Quinn versus Havoc. With that BWA. With that BWA logo in the middle. And here we go. Main event is underway. And this will be. This will be perhaps match of the year, no matter where you're looking. Havoc now, we all know who he is, Mark Quinn. We know who he is and what he's done. Two of these men, I believe, have had zero contact. Yes, no, I'm sure of it. Have had zero contact in BWA history. And the many styles of Mark Quinn will be on display here. And look at the way he grapevines the leg real quick. And Havoc has been called the best technical wrestler in BWA history. But Mark Quinn has been trained, not just by the best, by 10 of the best. And here we go. Get him off the rope, referee, get him off there. They've only got a count of five. Can we get a clean break? And whoa, drop toe, nicely done. I was gonna say, both men fan favorites. Will we see, whoa! Havoc trying to switch out of it there, into the hammerlock, but the ability of Quinn, and there you go. Eventually, we'll come into play with the strength of Havoc. We're gonna be talking about all the attributes of these men. I may not have to talk about all the attributes of Mark Quinn and Havoc. They're gonna show us everything that they know. I'll try not to mention too much about what they're doing outside of BWA. Because when you talk about BWA, we talk about the history the heritage. This match means enough as it is. Nice take over there, Fireman's Carry. Havoc now, count of one only. And trying to get a piece of Quinn there. Oh, very close. This is the main event for a reason. Two of the best technicians. Obviously considered by most when we've done our round tables, top 10 lists as the two best. In BWA history, up there with some elite company. Great. Definitely a feeling out portion here in this matchup. Like I said, both of these men may want to show off what they know because they know about the reputation of the other. It is the training. It is the training of, of both men. Whoa! You talk so much, so much about the lack thereof, the training of these men that a, a lot of men come into this business and, and they don't have the proper skill set. They weren't trained the right way. Well, Havoc, Havoc and Mark Quinn absolutely were. Ho, 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 ho. Are you kidding me? Oh, both men thinking about the same thing at a drop kick. And just like I said, and Quinn gonna give him his due. Both men have their own unique stylings, but both men know how to bring it to the center and bring it when it matters. I don't even know how to call what I just saw. Whoa! And the quickness. 
The quickness like a gunshot of Mark Winnin, no! Havoc thought that we were still in that feeling out portion. We are not. Mark Quinn now. Battling Havoc into the corner. Quinn now going up. Throwing raining shots down. And I think this is the first time that we've seen punches in this match. I might be wrong, but I think it was all... It was all textbook wrestling before this. Irish whip. Hard out of the buckle, into the opposite buckle, and Mark Quinn knows it. Both of these men had BWA highlights in 2011, and they're here on 9-11, and neither man wants to walk away with a loss. Quinn now, I, th I think Quinn may have found Havoc's number, he may have figured out. He may have, may have figured out Havoc's game here. Sunset, well done, I don't think he figured that one out. Hook the arms, it's over, woohoo! So quick and I believe, oh! Nice clothesline take down there. I believe it's gonna be something like that. Something as simple as a sunset flip or any sort of rollover into a cover that may be what ends this match. Both of these men have probably the two most famous move sets in BWA history, but I don't think it's gonna come down to that. Like, I, I think both men are seasoned enough to be able to weather the storm. Counter the Irish whip. Quinn now. Quinn, ooh, Quinn on his feet. Counter the back body drop. Out of the way, the back elbow. Havoc's trying to get on him. Oh, tilt the world backbreaker, well done. There it is, that'll do. No, Havoc did not hook that leg. Textbook backbreaker, but he did not hook the leg. And Havoc now gonna get vicious. He can get vicious. He spent many years being a vicious SOB in BWA. He does not care. He found out early on, after he made his debut in the year 2003, that he would have to fight with the big dogs and bite with them too. Whoa! Northern Lights suplex with a perfect bridge! Yahoo! So close. So close to proficiency of Havoc there. And I, I, I didn't even have to, have to think to say perfect bridge because I knew that's what it would be. A textbook high flyer is Mark Quinn. A textbook ground wrestler, a textbook suplex artist is Havoc. And Quinn now, Quinn is feeling all of his pectoral muscles. And try, yes, tries to get the pressure, relieve some of that pressure. And here comes Quinn. Duck the clothesline, still has the speed. Oh! Devastating back elbow. Right to the jaw there. That was an uncomfortable back elbow to hear. You heard the crack of Mark Quinn's jaw. I said we were gonna have a match of the year candidate, and we do. And oh, oh no! Oh God! Is that a prelude to the backstabber? But forget the prequel. The neck, the back, I've never seen anything like that. Mark Quinn, maybe have, maybe have paralysis, oh no! And he just got, there we go, Havoc, oh! And that was the difference. I talked about it when we saw Jose Valdez earlier on. The slipperiness of the ropes, it cost Havoc there. Havoc lost his grip for one second, recovered, and Mark Quinn was out of the way. That's how quick. It's lightning in a bottle. Havoc now still trying to remain in control. He's gonna let, oh! Oh no, I think he's getting... Oh! Close line took him down. Oh! Nice back elbow there, I was gonna say. He's letting his anger get the better of him, ducks it. Here goes Quinn. Oh my God. How many hits was that? Oh baby, CQC. Close Quinn, combat. Kick to the ear. Can you see that? Here we go, one down. It's over, no. My God. Are you unbelievably kidding me? I have never, ever seen that many strikes successfully hit all at once. What was that? Uh, Quinn just threw something. Oh my God, perhaps that was sand. I think he threw 
He threw what he believes to be Sano, Liverpool. Oh, oh my God. Accounted to the Liverpool into his own. It's over. Yeah. Oh man. I've never seen the Liverpool not only gone into that way, countered that way, but with such velocity. And we're not talking about terminal velocity. We're talking about havoc and the aftermath here. The aftermath always, always wins it. I can count on one hand with still having fingers remaining. Who's kicked out of this, baby? Whoa! Gwen on his feet. Shooting star press. One, two. Ah, oh, come on! It was so close. What a counter. What did you just see there? You saw an aftermath countered into a shooting star press. Forget the cruiserweight classic. We're having a classic right here. Mark Quinn, the best high flyer in the world. Havoc with years and years of frustration built up. Oh, wait. Caught it. Said, I don't think so, baby. Woohoo! Blue Thunder bomb. Blue Thunder. Oh, so close. Quinn rolls out of it. Gets to his feet. Oh, my God. Code breaker. Code breaker. Game over! Game over! Oh, come on! What? Don't I draw wonder? What the hell are you doing? What are you doing, you asshole? What are you doing? Oh, and Ronnie Banks, haven't you guys done enough? Bring the friggin' bell. Here goes the bell. Oh, come on! What the hell are you doing? The friggin' Platinum District's out here. That was it. It was any man's match. Was it Alex's match? It is not your match, you bastards! You bastards! The referee is injured, he's hurt. And Raw wonders, he can do anything he wants to his former partner. Quinn. Quinn and Ra, Ra knows everything to Quinn, and he's giving it to him with change, with punches and kicks. This is disgusting, this is disgusting. And Ronnie Banks now, what is he doing? Ronnie Banks has the official, he has the official. Oh, bank breaker on the official. This is carnage. What's going on here? This is supposed to be a celebration. Oh, roaring elbow. I just took Quinn out of his boots. And the Platinum District, the damn Raw Wonders, and the despicable Rodney Banks. This is not the way we wanted to end Requiem. And Banks now, he's gonna try to do the same. And here comes Havoc, oh, bank breaker for his troubles. And I think Havoc was in there to come to the aid of Mark Quinn, why not? They were having the match of the year. The match of the damn year in 2016. Is this truly BWA's Requiem? Is this what will be written on the gravestone? Did the Platinum District do what they set out to do? And this is all about Havoc winning gang rules. This is all about they decimated BWA here today. Oh, and Havoc just spit his face. Good, spit his damn face. Good. Oh, God, another. Yeah. That's right, the spit of havoc across the face is how we all feel about the damn Platinum District. At the end of this show, you'll see Raw Wonders and Rodney Banks standing tall. And that's not what we came to see. Oh, come on, you've done enough. Oh, God. It's awful. I'm trying to lift the dead weight of the referee. But you've already done, you've already bank break at the ref. Oh, the ref through the center rope as well. Yeah, and they said this is all ring. Requiem 911. Don't you agree? Platinum District. The twin brothers stand tall. I invent a sweat. Popping bottles.